So another six months goes by, and the most popular distribution of Linux-based operating systems drops another release. This time, a long-term support release. Considering its release being in April 2014, Ubuntu 14.04, codenamed the Trusty Tar, represents the next major iteration of the Ubuntu release cycle, integrating all of the features, bug fixes and changes of not just the last six months, but from the last three releases of Ubuntu since the last long-term support release in April of 2012. Considering Windows XP's recent retirement, consumers are on the lookout for a viable Windows alternative more than ever. But does Ubuntu 14.04 have what it takes to be a genuine replacement to a Windows OS, or is it just another release that will be celebrated only amongst the Linux enthusiasts as a stable and production-ready release? Well, let's start with the Unity desktop. This desktop has undergone a lot of refinement over the last few years, and gradually consumers are being given back their ability to customize the distribution to the way that they work. Users now have the option of using locally integrated menus instead of being forced to use a global menu, a la Mac OS X, and the launcher on the left side of the screen is now able to shrink down incredibly small for those who have limited screen real estate. Ubuntu also now supports high pixel density displays, meaning that laptops being released with Full HD, Quad HD, 2K or 4K displays will scale up nicely so that everything doesn't appear ridiculously small. Uh, on the flip side, the desktop looks equally at home on small or low resolution displays, making it one of the most effective user interfaces as far as utilizing screen real estate effectively. The desktop overall looks sharper than ever, and thanks to borderless windows, live window resizing, and a new lock screen and some stellar wallpapers, the trademark Ubuntu look and feel no longer feels like a toy that was designed solely by developers. It's starting to feel mature and more capable of gracing someone's PC, either professionally or in the consumer market. Strides have also been made to make this desktop appeal to power users, including multiple workspaces and readily accessible keyboard shortcuts that make navigating through the desktop incredibly fluid and efficient. Combined with the performance boosts across the board, Ubuntu 14.04 feels very well engineered and more than capable of handling any amount of work thrown its way. Also, the neat integration of various online services such as Google Mail, Google Drive, Facebook, Twitter and Flickr are also a pleasant addition to the power user's toolbox, making it easy to set up email, chat and cloud accounts. Now, when it comes to maintaining this operating system, the effort required on behalf of the user is very minimal, as the improved software updater notifies the user of when updates are available and logically breaks those updates down per app or per system component, instead of baffling the user with a list of indecipherable packages and version numbers that need attention. Installing software via the Ubuntu Software Center is adequate for most users. The interface is still laggy at times and it still looks in need of a visual refresh, but the content that is now on offer in the Ubuntu Software Center is better than ever. And whether you're looking to install Skype, a new web browser, a new photo management app, an instant messaging app, or even Steam for all your games, the Ubuntu Software Center will be obliging nine times out of 10. Thankfully, with Linux-based systems being on the rise, installing commonly used apps like Microsoft Office 2010 is becoming increasingly easier, and the rise of web apps means that compatibility of one's digital life is not really an issue anymore. Thankfully, Ubuntu does take compatibility pretty seriously, so support for various hardware is a strong suit of Ubuntu 14.04. Regardless of whether your laptop has UEFI, hybrid graphics, an SSD, multimedia keys, a super high resolution screen, and whether your machine is five years old or born yesterday, Ubuntu will nine times out of 10 be able to support your PC and in most cases squeeze better performance out of your own computer. Now, on my test machine, the system boots on an SSD in less than seven seconds, and the performance doesn't seem to slow no matter how many apps I throw at it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this system's stability and performance on multiple hardware configurations is second to none. Overall, Ubuntu's big release for this year is a marked improvement on the last major release of Ubuntu back from 2012. It's brought changes and improvements that many Ubuntu users have been requesting. 
as well as bringing some welcome updates to make the system perform at its best on modern hardware. Of course, if you're already an Ubuntu user, then this new long-term support release is a no-brainer upgrade. And if you're a Mac or Windows user, then I think you'll be surprised at just how efficient, professional and polished Ubuntu looks and behaves nowadays. And while little niggles persist in the software center and with Windows app compatibility, the PC user experience that Ubuntu is creating has never looked better. <laughs>